Hey, Mario. And a consistent reminder that the world is going to hell in a handbasket if you don't give us money. Remember, Vice City Public Radio is commercial free because it is funded entirely by donations from our listeners and corporate sponsors. So if you're enjoying the show, why not make a contribution? I'm Maurice Chavez, and this is Pressing Issues. Pressing Issues is a roundtable discussion group in which we ask self-important people exactly what they think about things, and then they argue amongst themselves for a bit, before leaving with views more extreme than when they came in. <laughs> Only joking, ladies and gentlemen. This is a show founded on the ancient Greek principle of enlightened debate and the American principle of free speech. Or is that the ancient Greek principle of feeding wise men hemlock and the American principle of being annoyed and loud so nobody can get a word in? I forget. Only time will tell. Now, the subject we are discussing right now and pressing issues with me, Maurice Chavez, for your enlightenment and enjoyment is a very serious one. Public safety. In case you haven't noticed, I sit... Man, that say goes back. What's going on? That psycho won't leave Love Fist alone. You didn't kill him, man, and now he's back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The thing is, the thing is, we need someone to drive the limo we can trust, because that nutter keeps making threats. Shell me, I need my mom. We're all breaking ourselves, man. Okay, guys, calm down. I'll handle this. Normally, I wouldn't busy myself with driving around a bunch of drunken Scottish bisexuals, but in your case, I'll make an exception. Last man, time for a well earned drink. Are you finished? Just a hundred yards to the road, then? Better make it a large one, then. Hey, Tommy, change the tunes, man. I get all confused if my head's not banging. Ah, oh, look, what's this? Hey, Tommy, stick this tape on. No fist. Your time polluting the airwaves is over. I gave you the chance to be friends. Well, now I'm giving you the chance to die. You try and slow down, your limousine will explode along with your big airy asses. Tommy, pal, you've got to save the band. I'm getting bored of this. Just keep the pedal to the metal. We've got to find it, Bob. Can't we just drive around all day? I would get plenty to drink. The bomb may be in the engine. We need to stop to get it. We're all going to die. I'm going to get pissed. Hey, there's a pure here, pal. Hey, man, Angel's near the drinks cabinet. Get him away. Hey, the vodka bottle's got wires coming out here. That's no vodka. That's boomshine. Why have to blow? Ah! You always said the drink would kill me. I've seen this on the telly. You gotta pull out one of the wires. Which wire? I don't know, man. I don't have a clue. Willie, she show me. I'm gonna play bass in hell. Tommy, man, keep driving fast, pal. Somebody do something. I clever. Somebody do something for kind of crap he's at. I've seen braver crimes. Okay, tough guy, you do something. Look, man, I play a musical instrument. I got a clue about bomb disposal. Well, he could just suck the boom shine out with a straw. I have heard that you're good at that kind of thing. Uh, hey, I was off my tits that night as well, you know. Just pass Willie a straw. I a straw? This is a low fist tour bus. For my guy get a straw fake, if I mean. Which wire, Tommy? The green one. There isn't a green one. Oh, 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 is this a green one? Any of these wires look green to you? Oh, and that death in the car, Tommy looks green. I should have dumped you a lot when I had the chance, man. Glory seeker. Capitalist! I've been carrying you for years. Shut up, you muppet. Like screaming girl. Aye, shut it and pull a wire. Which wire? This one. No! Man, we're okay. We ain't been blown up. Tommy, my nice one. Rock and roll, man. Then we got a kick to go to. A racket to make groupies to abuse. Oh, fist! Oh, fist! Oh, fist! Have you finished with our ball? People on the air, don't forget what my voice sounds like. <laughs> so, <laughs> I want a clean fight. Nothing below the belt or in the chops. And remember Maurice's motto, which a very wise man, my father, once told me. If you listen, one day you might be hurt, and when in doubt, use the smell test. That's so important, I think, don't you? 
So, Congressman, let's start with you. Crime is up, people are scared to walk the streets, nobody is taking public transportation, police morale is at an all-time low, everyone is killing and maiming and giving each other the finger, metaphorically speaking. Do you think the government... Liberals just want to open the floodgates, let anyone in and make you the ordinary, hard-working men and women pay for the pleasure. Well, you have my permission to beat them with sticks. We won't prosecute. You'd be doing us all a favor. Free love, wig out, don't work, make love in the field, and listen to rock and roll or whatever you call it. Meanwhile, Crayshaw, I know your father. Hello, Tommy? Yeah. It's Baker. Just wanted to say I really enjoyed the show. Me and the boys want to thank you and remind you, you got our respect. Good day. Keep riding hard, son. Honduras, rich daddy, I know what it is to be poor and to look at the world from the other side. I slept my way to the top. <clears throat> if you two would stop uh, hooting and carrying on, I have a plan that will save Florida from the yellow-bellied snakes that want to slither into this great state from all places north. Oh, look. Stump jumping Jethro is using all three of his brain cells to talk. Enough! We've just started and you have proved yourself, Mr. Shrub, to be just as they said. I grant you, 1980 was not a high point in my career, but I never applied for a sex change. I was merely in an exploratory phase, and besides which, Saul the Wheat Free Clown was a funny act. Once voted best up and coming dietary restricted comic act in the whole of Vice City. I tried to take it to the Catskills, but Mount Scary Large was full. If I remember correctly, you didn't win. Marry the meat-free mime won. In fact, under legislation I am proposing, all of you vegetarians would be kicked out of Vice City. We were given canines and bicuspids for a reason, to open packages of potato chips. Hey, don't get me wrong, I always hated that bitch. What's funny about a woman not eating a hamburger? Or miming saving a chicken from the slaughterer's hands? Or her big act, I am a meat- 